All right, so since there's a lot of trucks right here, I mean, might as well just park, right? Since everyone else parked. But the thing is, I gotta park over here because I just gotta fix myself. I keep going this way. Fix myself real quick. I'm all out of whack. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I'll try. You know what? I don't want to get stuck. To be honest, I'm not trying to get stuck. But I can tell you what I am gonna do. Damn it! It's just that I know for a fact. Oh well. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'll make a U turn like this. I got more room this way see that I got all this room right here this these trucks would be in my way oh shit now, these trucks are barely not in my way You know what's funny one time I got kicked out of here because I was parked in here and the funny thing is that all these trucks are parked in here <laughs> but no one's told them anything but when I did it oh no I got told off all right so let's figure this thing out real quick all right so all right, this this right here should be pretty easy only because there's not that many trucks right now Park in door 27. You see, I'm in door 24 6 right now. All right, but like I said, I got all this room up here. Damn, th this is this is one of the toughest parkings right here, and for me. All right, so now I gotta break it all the way that way. All right, so I'm almost there. Still want to hit the trash can? I should. Guys, I'm having the hardest time. Alright, so I feel like the trick is just to like, it takes a while to park, but the thing is, it's like every time I go up, I'm scooting more and more over to the, to the right side, which is exactly what I want. Like right here, gotta go this side, like that, and then break it all the way this way, and there, there it is, and then like, like this. 
Yeah. Over here. Right there. We should be good right here. Imagine I put it in drive. <laughs> All right, so I should be good right, voila. I just don't wanna hit the fucking trash can, man. I'm getting pretty close. Sorry for the cussing, guys. I'm just gonna get out and look. I'm not gonna risk it. All right. While I'm out here, might as well hide the temperature. All right, it should be good now though. This pull up that I'm gonna do should be the one. Right here, watch. Sir, just as I suspected. So I warmed myself up some rice and two burritos de frijoles con chorizo. And I got a little, a little chilito chilpiquitin. This is what they used to call me. Back when I was a little kid, my grandma used to call me el chilito chilpiquitin because era un guerroso a la madre. Mmm, brown rice, my favorite. Hi. Hey, What's up, boss? Good morning. Loop one over. Oh, one over. You're in the maintenance where the trash is. Oh man, <laughs> and I was struggling so hard to get. I, it literally took me like 20 minutes to park oh. in here. Oh, well. It was a great effort. Yeah. Great effort. <laughs> I knew. I, I something told me too. I was like. I think it's 26. I was yeah. like, no, I'll just go in 27. Yeah. All right, man. One door over. Okay. Cool. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Guys. Wow. <laughs> the whole time I spent trying and trying and trying to park. All for nothing. Just to park in the wrong one. Are you kidding me? Always listen to your gut. At least it was easier this time. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I had my food in the tr- oh. I had my food on my little table and I bet you anything my rice is all over my floor oh man oh man I hope I didn't drop my rice oh yes you know what just for the challenge I'm gonna leave it there and see how I do if it stays still and I don't drop anything that means my parking skills are God's gift. This, it kind of goes downhill right here. So going in reverse, it's kind of hard, especially in the automatic. The automatic, I feel like lags so much that when you're going in reverse, it's kind of going like this. And if you like give it too much gas, 
it'll just throw you straight back in. Uh-uh, you can mess up trailers like that. So I gotta just do it extra slow. We're good. All right, let's eat now. Motherfuckers mm, mm, mm. are hot. God, guys, we are in some some serious issues right now. Um, it's not shifting past six gear. This is the main reason why I hate driving an automatic truck, and why I'm this close to just going back to the 10 speed. It literally will not go into seventh gear. Look it. I go down to manual so I can try to shift it. It does not go. I'm scared right now because I'm pulling up to the stop sign. And I know for a fact, it will stall on me. Oh God. Oh God, oh God. I'm gonna have to probably like, let's see. I can't, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm gonna have to kind of roll this so I don't stop, like, like it. Goodness, hopefully, come on. Switch gears, bitch. Oh, man. <sighs> what should I do? I need to pull over first, but there's nowhere safe for me to pull over here. Can't pull over on this person's property. And I got traffic behind me. Oh, my lord. I'm gonna have to pull over. All right, I'll probably pull over up here somewhere. Oh, uh, shit, man. And I knew once I seen that light turn on that I was gonna have some issues. I told my wife, told her, watch, something's gonna happen with the truck. All these lights are always on for some reason. We fixed it, nothing, it's always on. Ooh, look at that Peterboot, dude. Yeah, that thing is nice. But, damn, I have the attention span of a squirrel. All these lights are always on. We've tried fixing it, nothing happens. You know what, I'm gonna end up messing up the motor if I keep revving it up so high. Fuck, man. It won't even go down. It won't even downshift to fifth gear. I'm gonna pull over up here because I got a lot of traffic behind me. A lot. See what we can do. Alright. We'll turn it off. And turn it back on. Wait a couple seconds. Alright, let's see. She reset it. Nothing. God damn it. Oh, now I won't even turn on. Great. And it is 104 degrees high. Oh my god. Of course. Uh, 
Oh god, it is so hot out here. Oh, guys, guys, not having any damn luck. It is burning hot in here. This is why automatics suck. Oh, is that my uncle? That was my uncle. He's gonna call me right now. There it is, there's the call. Bueno? Uh, no, se, no me deja ponerlo en gear y no se prende. Te atoró en el 6 y uh, me, me paré aquí en el lado para a ver si me dejaba y ahora ya no se quiere prender. ¿Mande? Ya lo... Ok, no, no me deja ya, no. Si me deja. No, 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 uh, nada, nomás venía aquí abajo de esa carretera de Jody's y cuando llegué al stop sign, ahí al four way stop, um, ya no me dejaba cambiarlo en seis. So le seguí, le, ya yeah, en seis, se quedaba en seis, ya no, ya no subía de seis en el. So I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes. Oh, I think it's gonna let me know. Fuck yeah! Oh my lord! Finally! Honestly, I, th I think personally, this has happened to me way too many times already that I'm this close to just switching over to my brown truck, to the brown truck. Not my budget, my budget. This happens way too often, it's so annoying. Like, I get this is a new truck, but I don't know, man. I just, I don't like this. I don't like that this is always happening. And the other one's a 10 speed. It just needs a little bit of, of TLC. But I think, I think I'm gonna just switch over to the brown truck from now on. I'm gonna try to see if my uncle will let me just make the full time switch to the brown truck because this truck is is giving me way too much issues. I hate to see it go, but I feel like that's just what's best because I could have already been at the other packing house in Cutler an hour ago. And this is ridiculous. Frustrating that this is happening so often. It's gotten fixed and it still happens. Like this truck is new, but it's just so many issues. I don't know, man. So we just made it to this uh, location. So far it hasn't given me any issues since it's happened. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this spot when I came with my son. Back in like May, that's the last time I came to this spot. But I think I'm gonna park right next to this truck. There's no other parkings. I have to park next to this guy. Alright boys, so we just got a door. I'm gonna park on door number one. So I'm gonna switch you over guys. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna switch you guys over to this cam. So that way you guys get a better view. So let's get it.
Alright guys, I really hate to say it, I really do because I love this truck. Like it's such a nice truck. But I think this is gonna be my last load with this truck. Cause it's just been giving me way too much issues. I've gotten stuck so many times in this truck. Um and I don't know if I'm just saying that because I'm frustrated right now and it's hot. But maybe I'll change my mind later on when I get to the yard. But as for right now, I just, I, this isn't, I feel like this is gonna be my last load with this.